some stuff to give this place a millionaire flair. These trees have to get out. They're too basic. Let me go into the model and look for some other trees. The one that mostly matches our game is this money one right here. So let's size up a bit and put it in a tranquil place. That will look great. Another one beside it, and that's perfect. Now we just need to change each and every single tree in the game for these ones. See you in a bit. If you 
decided to test finish it. Look at this place. It looks all dirty, old, and ugly. Now we need to go grab this book that's on the ground. This one right here. Then we need to click this picture frame on the wall. He hears a weird sound and then clicks a hidden button on the nightstand. All right, we'll first click this thing. Whoa, what was that sound? That was pretty spooky. But let's focus on finding that button. It should be hidden behind the nightstand. Is it right there? Yes, it is. We can actually click it. So let's do that as another creepy sound plays. Now we need to go to the I'm a good man. What? Yeah, the safe is a whole vault this place has. 
It's a lot more money than you regularly have. The secrets of this place don't even stop there. Over at this table, you'll be able to find a little hidden button right down here. Go ahead and click it. That will open up a secret passage right here with tons of lasers. Trying to go into it normally will just teleport you out of it immediately. That's what's always going to happen if you don't get in the right way. All you need to do is hold some money. Whenever you're holding it in your hand, you'll be able to drop down into it, as well as just pass through them without worry. Here you'll find an even more secret room where the criminal did all kinds of meetings. We're also able to go over to this desk where another button can be clicked. And as we do, a big agency symbol will show up right above the desk. You'll also find a secret message behind this picture. It's written greed and fear. As you can see, this place has some crazy secrets inside of it. This girl wants to show us a way to fly inside of Brookhaven. First, she grabs a fire truck and then a basketball. After doing that, she gets on the bucket of it and then just deletes the whole truck. With that, every time she tries to jump, she goes a lot higher than normal, like she's using hacks or something. I heard about that bundle a long time ago, so I'm not sure if it still works. But let's try it. First, we need to spawn our little fire truck. The truck has also been remodeled and changed, so I'm really not sure about the function of this bug. Let's just leave it right here and test it. I'll go into the inventory and grab our basketball. We got it in our hands already, so we just need to go into the truck's bucket like this. Now, if we delete it outright, we should be able to do those jumps. Well, at least that's what should happen. It doesn't seem to be working, though. It's probable that the bug has since been removed from the game in prior updates. There's a bug similar to it, though. We'll need a horse for it. Open up the game's chat and ride AFK. As you send it, you'll start doing this strange floating animation. And if you try to ride the horse while doing it, we won't get on top of it. But we're just going to float a bit higher and a lot more bug. We'll also be able to jump a lot further than before. Look, we can just jump a house's whole fence without trouble. Not just that, but we can go on top of roofs just as easily. This girl actually has another secret to show. First, she gets a child following me for a second. I think there's a chance that they got this one fixed as well. Some time ago, if we made our feet get stuck somewhere, we would be able to do the bug that makes us do all those big jumps. But I'm not able to do it anymore. He just goes straight through walls now. Yes, they really got that one fix. I sadly can't show it anymore. At least we did make a video about it some time ago, so it's not fully lost. Apparently, this one actually works. First, they grab the binoculars. Then in her mouth, she looks at the cameras, and as she uses the binoculars, while on them, she can actually look at her place in lots of different ways. She can even see herself. So let's grab a home for ourselves now. Next up, we'll be playing Brookhaven 7 after that. We found these tombstones, which give a chill down my spine. 